Hi, I'm Wycliffe Barrett, and this is x Dedicated. Well, look who I saw in town the other day when I was in Cardiff City Centre. <laughs> well, uh, good morning, everybody. I don't feel very well. As you can probably tell, I've got a cold and I sound dreadful. But uh, I've been asked a couple of questions and uh, people want me to do some work here. So uh, we're going to look at uh, adding scenery mesh. Somebody asked me a question about scenery mesh and uh, how to install it. The first thing you really need to do is go to alpilotx.net and uh, we've got the site up here uh, because this is where we're going to get the scenery mesh from. Now there is an awful lot of this and uh, my suggestion is you just download one part at a time. Just download one bit and then work with that. Okay, so Europe is good enough. So once you get to alpilotx net you then need to uh, obviously click on downloads up at the top there and the you need to go to the gray bit there where it says x plane 10 HD mesh scenery version 2 once we get there which we will in a moment uh, you you go to the instruction section I've explained this before on uh, one of my other videos but uh, alpilotext.net he creates the scenery mesh for X-Plane 10 and uh, did the default scenery mesh for X-Plane 10 when it was released I think back in 2012. He did this update for us uh, free of charge of course it's, uh, but it's 50 gigabytes if you go to flightsim.com and get a premier membership then you can download that 50 gigabytes a lot quicker anyway as you can see here we're now on the contents page for alpilotx.net and what I need you to do is go down to uh, section 7 there where it says installation so click on 7 installation not 7.1 scenery packs in me click on 7 installation and when you do that you actually go to the instructions for installation which are a little bit confusing I'll try to go through it as slow as I can okay first of all you can start with one download and I've already said this just get one area to download Europe and then you need to create a subfolder called zzz underscore hd underscore global underscore scenery 2 in your custom scenery folder okay make sure you put zzz at the beginning and then that folder will go to the bottom inside that folder you need to create a subfolder called earth nav data with spaces earth nav data and it's into that folder that you download you install your downloads okay there's a, a, a graphical diagram of how that should look and uh, once you've done that of course you only need to do it once you only have to cre create that file structure once so what does the scenery look like well I've just taken some screenshots off my machine um, I've got Europe in which obviously includes the UK um, and you need to go to mountainous areas to really see the difference and also it would be helpful if you could do some screenshots before you install then you can see what it looks like because once you've added on there for a while you kind of don't realize what it kind of looked like beforehand so it's it might be good just to fly around the areas take some screenshots before you install everything this is Snowden in North Wales unfortunately screenshots do not depict how good this looks don't forget this is all 3d mountainous areas yeah? so it's very difficult to actually see what it looks like in a screenshot rather than on the screen and even if I put video in there a piece of video it just wouldn't convey to you exactly what it looks like um, of course I've got UK photo scenery on here and so you really get the different tones and colors of the geography and the geology uh, in that area and I've walked around Snowdon and it does it is very much like that it's absolutely superb so as I say take some screenshots before and then after you've installed we've got some other shots coming up here now of Innsbruck obviously Innsbruck is a very popular destination and um, for VFR flight and IFR flight and, and this is what it looks like now with the HD scenery mesh in. This is clear weather by the way uh, with a visibility of around about 18 miles. Uh, I put clear weather on so you could really see the uh, 
you know the the mountains and uh, you know you're looking down the valley there and this is just natural haze i haven't used any of those uh, rally tweaks or whatever they're called i don't i personally don't like them i'd much prefer to stick with the default stuff so you get that kind of blue haze off in the distance which is very much what you would see in the real world i have to say um so i'm quite impressed with that and of course uh, just to the right of the aircraft just to the right of the cessna there where you've got that wooded hillside there over the top of that where that tree line is is a valley uh, which you can fly down i mean it's it's amazing the terrain texture from this new mesh is absolutely breathtaking i'm going to keep quiet just for 30 seconds or so whilst you look at Innsbruck. I've got a couple of uh, questions to answer. Uh, somebody, uh, a couple of people have asked me some questions. Steve Mitchell wanted to know about uh, SciTech controllers. And uh, Paul Woods wanted to know about night lighting in the UK now that he's put the UK photo scene in. So I'm going to do that towards the end of the vlog. And uh, Paul Woods also asked me a question about the 757. He was having a problem with the 757 doing circles over the... Uh, over the destination airport and that's a simple fix uh, so I'll talk about that uh, towards the end of the video towards the end of the vlog should I say so there you have it that's the uh, terrain mesh and uh, as you can see it's really absolutely beautiful so going on to answer one of those questions there which was about the roads and lighting over the United Kingdom and I think I think this was Paul Woods yes uh, First of all, Paul, what you need to do is you need to go to xplane.org and go to the download section and you need to download that file there, England and Wales Custom Autogen. Okay, England and Wales Custom Autogen. And what that small file does is it allows the Autogen and the roads of the United Kingdom to be displayed above the photo scenery. There are instructions in there uh, on how to order your scenery in the scenery any pack, okay? So that, that's what you need, and uh, that will sort out the roads, etc. But what you need desperately on top of that is replacement lights, okay? Replacement day and night lights, uh, which is what I have in my simulator. And uh, if you saw PC Pilot this month, it was also in there. Where you need to go is here, which is ISDG dot com dot au and you need to go to the scenery add-ons section and download replacement day and night lighting version 1.1 okay for xp 1020 i've spoken about this before in another uh, vlog sorry uh, that you may have missed so you need to download that along with the um, uk uh, default roads and buildings put those two in and you'll have uh, beautiful night lights all over the united kingdom on top of your photo scenery okay so that's that the SciTech controllers i'm gonna have to do that another day because i'm feeling a bit uh, groggy at the moment and uh, i need a hot drink uh, probably a lem sip and in relation to the 757 i think what i'll do i'll do that with a full vlog, a full-on vlog for the 757. As always, my name is Wycliffe Barrett with an Imperial Stormtrooper here in Cardiff City Centre and this, of course, is X-Plane Dedicated. Bye-bye.